I can't work with people I don't like anymore. I was talking about the truth of my journey and I think now I was confident enough to talk about that phase of my life. I think I had a very tumultuous relationship with what occurred, but I forgave, I moved on a long time ago, and then I made my peace with it. I remember what Richard did when we rapped, he went and shaved his head. <laughs> Don't call me back for another shot. Oh! <laughs> Paused for a second when I walked in and I saw the set. It's, I'd never seen anything as huge. My question goes to you. Um, Priyanka, recently uh, you appeared in an international podcast show where you spoke about you know, uh, there was a time in your career where, uh, you know, you were put into a corner. So, noting that was the reason you sought uh, work in Hollywood. So, just wanted to know that why speaking about it now? Um, I think that, first of all, um, I'm, when I was on the podcast, um, I was asked about the journey of my life. And I spoke about, you know, when I was young, when I was 10, when I was 15, when I was 22, when I was 30, 40, whatever. Um, so I was talking about the truth of my journey. And I think now I was confident enough to talk about that phase of my life. I think now where I am, I was okay enough to kind of um, articulate what I felt. I think I had a very tumultuous relationship with what occurred, but I forgave, I moved on a long time ago, and then I made my peace with it. And um, I think that's why it was easy for me to talk about it in an open manner, um, you know, in a safe space. Hi, Richard and Priyanka, Vanakam. Uh, my question is, what was the most fun memory on the set? Vanakam. My most fun memory on this set was when we wrapped it. <laughs> I was like, back up, yay. <laughs> um, it was a very, you know, it demanding show. It demanded a lot. So I think I felt a sense of achievement once we had finished it, once we wrapped it. I, I remember what Richard did when we wrapped. He went and shaved his head. <laughs> Don't call me back for another shot. Oh. <laughs> No more continuity for that's you. A, that's a fact. <laughs> that, that was fun for me too. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Sana. Would you like to take that? I think on the day it was very difficult, but I look back, there's a whole sequence which I can't talk too much about, but it involves a submarine and it has such huge spectacle to it. And I remember being there and it kind of feeling like you were at a theme park because you were completely immersed in such a humongous set and experience. And that as an actor is one of those moments you're, you don't have to do a lot of acting because everything around you is so real. Correct. And you're I, excited. I like paused for a second when I walked in and I saw the set. It's, I'd never seen anything as huge and immersive. It was interactive. It was moving. It was alive. It was It was unbelievable. wet. Yeah. Oof, yeah. Can't wait to watch it. Don't do this to us, both of you. <laughs> All right, who's next? Kalpana from Indian Television. Hi, Kalpana. Thank you, ma'am. Hi, Gaurav. Congratulations. Brilliant show, brilliant trailer. How important is India to the success of this global franchise? Hi, Kalpana. India is super important. We are, we are kicking off the entire journey right here from India. Okay. It's our before all the other premiers happen. This is the first place. This is the first one. First one. So that's, that here. says how important it is. I think you have to think about it, you know, the fact that um, besides the show and how interesting it is, we have Priyanka, who's our Indian global superstar. And, and everybody loves her here. And we have Richard, who has a huge fan following for the work he's done here. So that makes it super exciting for customers in India. And then the fact that we have part of the interconnected universe that we have uh, uh, India like to it that we talked about. So all of this make India a super important part of the, the entire Citadel story. So yeah. Thank you so much for that. Our next question is from Vebhavi Rizbooth from NDTV. Hi Priyanka. Hi Richard. This is actually I want to know from you at this stage of your career, when you choose a project, uh, what are the things that matter? I mean, what is the primary thing? Is it the director, the story? or the character that you're playing? What is that one thing that's completely non-negotiable? 
I think for me, what would be non-negotiable now, it's actually really true. <laughs> I can't work with people I don't like anymore. So <laughs> it's really non-negotiable for me. I have to admire, look up to, and like the people that I work with, like the people that I'm surrounded with. I've been doing this for a very long time, and I want to be excited about going to work. I want to be inspired about going to work, and that's become non-negotiable for me. So when I meet the people that I'm going to work with, I take notes in a little pad. <laughs> but I, that truly is something that, as I've evolved, become very important to me. Um, for me, it's not so much about the, just a, a director or a, a story or a writer. It's, it's kind of simple. If I get to the end of the script and I want to go back to the start and read it again immediately, then I've usually found my next project. That's well, thank you so much for that. Priyanka Roy from The Telegraph, you're with us. Hi. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Hi. Um, hi. Gaurav, uh, my question's for you. Um, you will we see uh, the different characters and actors of the various installments kind of crossover in the Citadel universe. And I know that, you know, this is, um, it, you're still shooting it, but do you have like a tentative release date or window for the Indian uh, installment? So I'm not giving any spoilers away, first of all. But, uh, but, I, but the fact is, this is a part of a larger universe and each of the stories uh, are part of that. So we'll have a lot of familial, you know, connected tissues between, between the multiple editions of the show. And, and this is a big ambitious project and we are all super excited about the fact that, you know, this, we start off with this story and how the other stories unfold in Italy and India. So there will be connected issues and we, uh, you have to just wait for that. I can't give it away. And of course, we are filming the India edition and we don't have any announcements to make on that right now. But for now, watch this one. Well, full marks for trying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, our next question. Smriti Sharma from Bollywood Live. Hi, Smriti. Good evening, everyone, and uh, very congratulations to all of you. Uh, my question is for uh, Priyanka. Uh, Priyanka, you have worked with the best of minds, the best of creators in both the Indian film industry and the West. So what are the differences and similarities that you have observed in your experience? Um, I think the similarities are that movies are movies. TV is TV. Wherever in the world you go, the language is the same. You know, you'll have a call sheet, you have a call time, you have an AD standing outside your trailer saying, you're late, come on, you have to know your lines, you know. It's so the madness is the same. I think the differences are cultural. And that should not be touched or changed. I think the cultural differences are, um, there's a lot of paperwork in Hollywood. Like there's stamping, there's signing when you finish you working, and there's like your turnarounds, and there's a lot of emailing and a lot of that that happens um, versus here we are a little bit more lax with time, you know, Indian stretchable time and all of that. Um, but there is, I think that the cultural differences are what I found different, but otherwise I think the medium of filmmaking is the same in both places. Thank you so much for that question. Lakshmi from First Post, are you with us? Hi. Hi. Hello, my question is for uh, you, Richard. So you're hugely popular in India. So if you're offered a role in Indian cinema, would you accept it? Absolutely. And what kind of role would you take? Absolutely. I mean, India makes more films than any other country in the world. Yeah. And has an incredible amount of talent that I would be honored to work with. In terms of what kind of movie, I would like to do something comedic. I think I've, we do so many serious things. It would be good to do something a bit more comic because I've not really done that. So maybe that will happen in the future. I mean, you just start thinking. I'm already thinking about it, guys. Don't worry. Hmm. Speaking of franchises, <laughs> there's a couple that come to mind. All right. Thank you so much for that. Thank you, Priyanka. Yeah, can we applaud that, please? Take a minute. Thank you, Priyanka. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, Gaurav. It's been truly phenomenal. And I think that we are an extremely lucky audience to get you to talk to us today, the first in the world. So thank you for this honor. Yeah.